All right, so uh, section 11.1 .1 is the sequential counting technique. <clears throat> this means that if we choose one item, from a group of M items and one item from a group of N items, then the number of ways to choose one item from each group is n times n ways. So an example of this is similar to the homework. A restaurant offers two appetizers. For this, I'm going to make some up soup and salad. and three main courses we'll say steak chicken and fish all right so <clears throat> The question is asking, or the question will ask, in how many ways, how many ways can a person order a two course meal? Two All right, so the way we'll attack this is using the links. By the time I get to this point, you probably had it already figured out. But this uh, first blank will represent appetizers. The second blank will represent main courses. Since there are two appetizers and three main courses, two appetizers, three main courses, we will multiply those. And so we have six ways. Okay. Now, I want to show you why this sequential counting principle works. Uh, and to do that, I'm going to show you using a tree diagram. And on this tree diagram, uh, I'm going to do the following. I'll start here with my appetizers. This little point represents appetizers. And then from there, I have two choices. I could do um, super salad. Now, once I've chosen my soup, I can now choose one of three main courses, steak, chicken, or fish. Steak, chicken. And then same with my salad. Once I've chosen a salad, I can now choose a steak, chicken, or fish. And so at that point, you probably see our six possible ways. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and list out our options. I'll number them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so I could do soup and steak. 
uh, soup and chicken. Soup and fish. And of course, I had the same three options with my um, salad. So salad and steak. Salad. Fish. Salad. And, well, I interchanged them. Chicken. Fish. Okay, so those are our six possible ways.